Hi, I wanted to make this video um, because I am in my early 40s and I wanted to try to find a um, remedy for heavy bleeding. And so I opted for the next Planon implant um, because it can eliminate your periods totally. I did a lot of research beforehand, but apparently not enough. Um, I have had my next Planon in for six months. The insertion was easy, it, it wasn't painful at all. The um, numbing needle was probably the most painful and that wasn't even painful. Um, I, over the last year, have lost 30 pounds with diet and exercise. I see a personal trainer three days a week and then I swim and walk two days a week. Um, I was really proud of my weight loss and I wanted something that wouldn't cause me to gain weight and my doctor said that typically the next plan on does not. So the first three months I was on it, it was great. I had some spotting like the first month, and then after that it was gone. No period whatsoever. I was in heaven, I thought. Um, then all of a sudden, things that I didn't correlate with the next plan on started happening. I started feeling depressed and empty, like there's got to be more to life than this, and that's not typically how I am. Um, I started feeling not motivated. Um... And then I started getting these really weird, like, hunger cravings. Like, not just for specific types of food, but I was hungry all the time. I would eat a huge meal, and then my stomach would be growling, like, ten minutes later. Um, over the last two months, I have put back on 20 of the 30 pounds that I've lost. So, between the depression and now the weight gain, I am definitely going to get the next plan on removed, and I'm actually getting it removed today at 3.15. So, um, I'm excited to get this out of my body and see if things go back to normal. Um, I just would caution anyone that is looking to get the next plan on put in. Um, I know everybody's body is different, but this is not what I expected especially after a short six months. So um, I wanted to make a video just explaining kind of some of the things that were happening. I also had, and again, these are things I didn't put together because they kind of happened separately. So I didn't think that they had anything to do with one another. But after doing more deeper research and looking at YouTube and finding other videos, um, my face has broken out. Um, I've got a few blemishes here, got a few down here. Um, it's, my face is very greasy and it never used to be. Um, also hair loss. Uh, I did not associate that with this, but I'm finding out that that can also be an issue and mine has. Luckily I have a ton of hair, but you can see like I have breakage all around the crown of my head, um, where my hair is just breaking off and falling out. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get this out. I will do an update after I have the next plan out for a while. Um, something else that I've noticed is my sex drive went from high gear to absolutely zero. Um, so the, the benefits definitely don't outweigh the, the rest of the, um, side effects. So I'm getting it taken out and I suggest you research other options before you try the next plan on. Luckily it's easy to take out. I've heard that a lot of the symptoms are similar to the depo shot, and I know the depo shot causes weight gain, but um, when I did my research, I was just reading through websites, and I didn't see a lot of, of what I've seen now going through YouTube videos and digging deeper um, in researching the next plan on. So having it out taken, or having it taken out today um, in just a few hours, I can't wait, and I will post an update after it's out explaining the procedure. So thanks for listening, and I hope you make a choice that's right for you. Thanks.